This is a quick tuto tutorial to show you how to create this symbol using the line, circle, trim, copy, hatch commands. Okay, first thing we need to do is to set our limits. Type L-I-M-I-T-S at return. Always leave the lower left as 0, comma 0. The upper right defaults to 420, comma 297. That's fine for this example. But always zoom all Z, return, A, return. And I'm just going to pan this over a little bit so I can see the red axes as well, the X axes. You want to draw a circle? Click. Click anywhere to set it down. And we'll make the radius about 100. Hit return. Zoom in a little bit so it fills the screen. Next thing we always need to make sure is our object snap settings are object snap is switched on and also what the settings are. The minute it's not on, so first of all turn it on by left clicking and to change the settings or to check them, right click and go to the settings. This dialog box appears. For this exercise all we need is the endpoint, the midpoint, the center, and the quadrant. Hit OK. Next draw a line from the top quadrant the center and hit return to finish that command up. Draw another circle, press time the midpoint to the end point, and draw another circle from the midpoint and bring your crosshairs out to the right and click about there. No specific size for that circle. Next use copy, select the two small circles in the line. Once they're selected, hit return. Pick your copy up from this point and put it down at this point. And to finish the command uh, command off, the copy command off, hit return. Click on trim. Hit return. Pick the bit of the circle you don't want. That part and that part. Hit return to complete the command. Next, erase the two construction lines. No longer required. Hit return to finish that command. Next, go to the hatch command, select your pattern, click inside an area that you want to hatch. Once you're finished, hit return. That's it done.